In this video, I'm gonna try to get the world record on random levels that I get in multiplayer verses. I will play a few rounds of verses and then pick a handful of levels to try and grind out the world record on. I have almost no control over what levels I pick to speedrun. If I get a crazy difficult Kaizo level, that's just what I have to speedrun. But first, of course, I needed to get some levels to pick from, so I went on to multiplayer verses. This is how that turned out. We got a few interesting games. Please let me go in. In this game, I'm like a whale. I rarely ever rise above sea. That's predictable. Bam! Man, I'm popping off. Okay, maybe I'm not popping off. Nintendo fix your game! I have a good feeling about this one. I'm gonna win. Never mind. I've never seen this level before. You know what I love? Ice physics. I mean, they're simply fantastic. Guys, please, just get in the rooms. Oh, well, I'm not winning this one, I guess. If I do somehow win this, it'll be an insane comeback. No way. No way. Is this the end? This, is this the end? Come on. No way! That's the end. That's the end. The biggest comeback of the year. Probably not. That might be an exaggeration. What is that avatar? <laughs> it might even be uglier than mine. You gotta hit him with the wahoo. It's basic etiquette. The lag here is palpable. You could cut it with a knife. <laughs> you fool. Now you're trapped forever. This may be the worst thing you can do with platforms. I stand corrected. This is. Toad does not understand basic communication. We can't get in unless you come over here, buddy. Okay. And after all that, I'm not even gonna be the one that wins it. I'm the one that lets everybody play the video game, and then I lose. All right, I think it's time to pick what levels I want to play and get the world record on. This is the first level, and it is Pokemon, and you are a Pokemon. And the description says, you trainer is the first guy. So obviously we have a masterpiece here. So obviously the first thing you always do in your level is make the player wait in a P-Switch box. I think this is what they meant by, you trainer is the first guy. And now the rest of the level is just going in and out of pipes. Seriously, who made this? This is so weird. I do not know how this relates to Pokemon at all. You're just going in and out of pipes. Well, <laughs> I don't, uh... I mean, there's a Meowser, but you don't have to fight him. And then... Um... And then you beat the level. What a fantastic level to try and speedrun! The current world record for this level is almost 10 seconds. Let's do this. We start off by not getting trapped in the box, just by being faster than the Thwomp. Now, you may notice that at the end, the in-game time is a lot shorter than the real-world time it took for me to beat the level, and that is because, while in a warp pipe, the in-game time does not progress. And because most of the time is spent in warp pipes, the in-game time is very low. Sadly, getting a fire flower does slow us down, but there's nothing we can really do about it. And that is the world record for this level. In real world time, it took almost 40 seconds, but in in-game time, it took only about 9. This level was made specifically for multiplayer versus. This is in contrast to the other level we played, which I don't think was meant to be played by anybody. If this were multiplayer versus, then right now we would be waiting for everyone else to get into their pipes. The first obstacle is these mushroom platforms. Then we have to tunnel through some bricks. Next are the claws. After that, some blue platforms, bumpers, seesaws, a cannonball or two. Then it's a straight run to the end. 
The time to be is 39.7 seconds. Our run starts with us going up and entering our selected room. Then we really start. We go up on the platforms, we dig through the bricks, we go up on the claws, we go on the blue platforms trying to hop as quickly as we can, we first try all the bumpers, quickly go out of that claw, and we try to do the seesaws as fast as we can. Then we immediately hit both of the cannonballs into the final ascent into that pipe. And now, we have gotten the world record. Okay, 37 seconds, that is not bad. Next up is 3-1 Brick Snowland. It has no description, so let's go ahead and start. At the beginning, the first thing you're gonna notice is that the level has ice physics. We go up this vine and then hop on some blue platforms. When we get down, there's a bullet blaster area, a checkpoint, more bullet blasters, some hammer bros, some donut blocks, and that is about the end. I narrowly scrape by the Koopa. I leap at just the right time to land on the bridge and skip the vine segment and the blue platform segment. I accidentally get stuck here, and that is a big time loss, so there is definitely room for improvement. I know from here to the end is just a straight shot of running, so I just try and go as fast as I can. My final time is almost 26 seconds. This one was a little sloppy, there's a ton of room for improvement. The next level is called Sugar Hills, and as you can probably tell, the file is corrupted. Don't worry though, only the beginning is totally ruined. Snowballs are the gimmick of this level. Here you see me killing a ton of enemies with them. Now you have this Piranha Plant area. It was a absolute terror to speedrun through. Near the halfway point of this level, you have to pick up a snowball from this pipe and kick it into the question mark block to progress. Here we once again use a snowball to kill enemies. And at the very end, you once again throw snowballs to kill this big stack of piranha plants. The record is 30 seconds. I bounce on the Koopa in particular, so that I can land in just the right spot. Here I have to be fast to avoid the piranha plants, but I can't be too fast or I'll mess up my landing. I wait here so that the snowball will spawn. I meant to go over the plant, but I accidentally went under it. I only kill one plant so that I can go over and beat the level. You know, I had a lot more fun speedrunning these levels than I thought. I had never really been interested in speedrunning in this game. I wasn't very particularly interested in Ninja Speedrun, and I never really tried to do it on any normal levels either. But this surprised me. It was very fun, and it was a joy, except for the file corrupting, to record. I think my favorite part of it was finding the right route to get to the end the fastest. It's just, it's fantastic. I think that's my favorite experience with speedrunning in general. This has piqued my interest, so maybe next time a new Ninja speedrun comes out, I'll try a bit harder, because, as I said, I have never really been that interested in it. Anyways, thanks for watching, and goodbye.